When the eruption of the February 2024 started, and we saw it through the MBL Iceland cameras, this was a shocking uh, scene for many, but not for me. I expected that happened to the north of the Grindavik, nowhere close to it. And presto, we had it here. Near the Swartzengi geothermal power plant, near the old Sundunka craters, and uh, just a tonga we went around and encircled, following the counter of the ground. The, uh, the ground under the Swartzengi over the past uh, three months it was swollen and uh, shrunk, swollen and uh, fallen. And this is a process of uh, accumulation of magma before each eruption and then emptying it after and during the eruption. This time it went 10 centimeters down. That means 10 centimeters of the magma under it, in the rocks, in the Lakolithmia under it, actually uh, drained through that to the dike, to the seal, and to the ground. Now we are looking at the tremors chart again, and we see that the earthquakes at the depth of 10 kilometer to 5 kilometers are now rising, getting shallower, are indicative of the rising of the magma again. And these uh, earthquakes are not anywhere near the Blue Lagoon or Swartzengi. They're happening to the north of this current eruption again. And uh, as you can see in this uh, the satellite image, uh, I'm showing you now the location of the 1st of December 2023. That was uh, near the Sunduka crater. Then north of the Grindavik, between Hagofel and Grindavik, January 2024, February 2024, again in Sunda Crater, and I believe in March 2024, we will have another eruption to the north of the current location. This is my estimate. This is all along that uh, dike that we are seeing, magma dike, draining the Swartzengi near those hills, the lower part of the image, and uh, through a seal which is connecting to them, we see again the pattern of this caterpillar pattern of earthquake has not stopped. In my opinion, and I have published analysis of this already, uh, this is a process of the probably related to tides every six hours is, uh, repeats itself, uh, flexing and breaking through the tectonic earthquakes, the pathway for the magma, then the magma comes forward, melts the bedrock, then another tectonic movement, earthquake, cracks the rocks again. We are seeing it after eruption, it is now repeating itself. So we are expecting another wave of this uh, breakage and uh, movement and melting breakage and movement of the melting of the bedrock happening until the pathway for the magma is opened up. On the swan thing, we already have, are seeing the rise and uplift of the ground. So this next eruption, probably in the March, will be around and will be in the north of the current eruption.